going on, man? Y'all come on off in here. What's going on, man? Y'all come on over here and hit the like button for me, share for me. What's going on, man? Y'all come on in here, hit the like button for me, share for me. Yo, 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 what's going on, Boston Ross? <sighs> About to get in here and talk everything from Bitcoin to ball, bro. And in here and talk about everything from Bitcoin to ball. You said you almost off work. <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> Bossy, what's going on, man? Y'all come on off in here, man. Today's a, a different day. Today is a different day. Um, sports in general have, have changed. Uh, have changed. And it's something I've been talking about for a while. Players and they're marketing themselves and social media and boom, it's here. And it, it hit like a ton of bricks, too. Um But in the middle of all of this, in the middle of all of this, Sports Illustrated had to do a story. They just they just had to. They 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 had, Sports Illustrated had to do a story. They had to get involved. And this is the cover of the SI. I don't know how many of y'all saw this already. Sports Illustrated. That's the cover of Sports Illustrated. Uh, yeah, Raymond, Miami got out there, jumped out there running. <laughs> Um, that's the cover. Um, and it's University of Miami. Uh, clearly, it, it got mine on their back. Got dollar signs for their numbers. And uh, y'all talk about Luke always taking shots at the University of Miami. Seems like anytime a Sports Illustrated has anything bad to say about college football, they use the University of Miami. What do y'all think they're trying to imply? That's what I want to know. What do y'all think that what do y'all think they're trying to imply? I didn't read the story. Um, I'll probably read it later. Got a little busy today. Yeah, so I'll check it out later. But what do y'all think they're trying to imply? Like, what are they getting at? That's what Kwame Brown be talking about. I saw it. No coincidence they used us. I thought that was a 2017 team pick. Bossy, you ain't look hard enough, big dog. <laughs> um, maybe because Miami, maybe because Miami got out, got out. Mm, maybe because Miami got out in front of it. I don't know. Uh, Miami, Miami's all over it. You know what I'm saying? Manny was fighting for it. Uh, well, so maybe because Miami was all in on it, maybe they had a scoop, maybe a story. But boy, that's kind of 
And I, I don't think, listen, I don't think this is a bad thing. I don't think this is a bad thing. Yeah, I don't think this is a bad thing um, because basically they put out that, hey, Miami players getting paid. Miami helping their players get paid. So I don't think it's a bad thing for recruiting or not. I, I mean, I just, I just, SI is always trying to, like SI always got their, I don't know, it just seems like SI always, uh, always when it comes to, to something bad, they don't shy away from using Miami, right? Because Miami is a small private school. I don't know. I can't pay. I don't know what it is, bro, to be honest with you. But they're good for it. Then you look at Sedona say that the SI is full of racist undertones back then and now. They've been party of get along game. <laughs> a get along game, mama cooking. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Um, I'm maybe if you read the story, maybe you, you maybe we could figure out why they use Miami. Who knows? But yeah, man, it's a new day in college, college sports. It's a new day in sports, period, man. This may trickle down to high school because now, I mean, you can't. You was gonna tell a kid he can't come in with a deal already, or he can't come in. A um, couple years ago, Jacory Brooks had a, a, a shirt line and a, a shirt a store he was trying to sell his clothes out of, and it became a, a kind of confusion of could he do it or couldn't he do it. So with the high school kids, what are you trying to tell them? The high school kids can't do this now. Like you gotta be wait, you gotta get here first in order to use your name and likeness. I don't, I, I don't. That, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm trying to figure out how how that's going to work. I'm trying to figure out how that's going to work because you're trying to tell me I got to sign my name and likeness over to you in order for you to allow me to use it. I don't know about that one, but um, some things that um, uh, some things that uh, so I got a few things that athletes should should do. Pass it. We could pass this thing on. Few things that athletes should do um, or could be doing. We've talked about them a lot, a lot. Uh, we've talked about them a lot in nauseam. Um, I don't even know. That's how you say that word. But things that athletes could do or should be doing to <laughs> get some skin in the game, help their image and likeness, um, grow their brand. Um, social media. I, go, I tell people all the time, I mean, it's not what you think it is. Well, it could be whatever you want it to be. Let, let me correct that. It could be whatever you want it to be. But I know what it could be used for, and I know what it is, and I know like where it has to go. Um, and I talk about it all the time. I think social media is new TV stations. It, it's, Instagram is NBC. Facebook is Fox, and so on, forth, and so forth. Um, they're just allowing normal people to create content. And if you're interesting enough, they'll put commercials on your content, same as if they put commercials on Seinfeld and the Cosby show. So social media is TV all over again. I mean, history does nothing but repeats itself. So now that you have a TV channel and you have a platform if you're a high school athlete and you're, you can play big time ball in D1, um, yeah, you got to kind of work on your image and, and your likeness. <laughs> I mean, you can't be the one scared to show your face on Instagram or saying you just, oh, just want to play ball. I don't want to be in all of that. Yeah, I mean, bro, but well, you leave leaving bags on the table. That's what it's going to be. So one, one of the main things ki ki um, kids have to do, um, student athletes, even high school athletes, you got you to gotta create content often, bro. If, if you're trying to if you're trying to get your image up, I think I think athletes get confused with stars. I think they get confused with what the rappers do that are already famous, that became famous, and then they see what the rappers do on their social media, delete all their pictures, put one picture, put a picture with the head down, and and then it always they always play whatever the rappers does always play out play out into the real world. It, it, it's just so then the kids they start doing that. But if you're an athlete and you're trying to get your image and likeness up, um, create content. I mean, create content. 
be interesting, talk to the people, but but do it consistently. Um, Ralph, what's going on? Appreciate appreciate that ten dollar Ralph. Uh, but do it consistently. You feel me? Like you you, you got to do it two times a day. Uh, at least start once a day because you guys use social media. And it's for the ones that are interested in it, the ones who want to get their brand up and get these extra bags. Y'all use social media um, in, in a weird way. Like, y'all got a social media that you hide, that all your friends have, and that's the one you be on. And then your regular social media is just like some type of front page or something. That, no, bro. Like, listen, y'all gonna have to, <laughs> y'all gonna have to get, y'all, y'all gonna have to get people acquainted with you. Um, you may even put something out there to help to help kids and, and, and how help them work some of this stuff. I mean, I had already had a program together. Made me do one again. Um, yeah. So create content consistently. That's one way. That's definitely one way. The next way. Uh, I would say, get your face out there, man. Do interviews. Go interviews. People put a camera in your face. I mean, talk to them. Do interviews. Don't shy away from that stuff. And be colorful when you do it. Like, yeah, be colorful when you do it. Uh, I always go back to the one kid when the kid was talking. Yeah, man, Larry Bluestein said that, man, the Dilla kid. He was like, I was raping him at 140 yards. You think he died last year. But everybody saw that video. And, and that we didn't even have social media. Uh, everybody isn't that colorful. But we all remember that video. And that's, I always go back to that. Um, yeah, man, you gotta be, be, be colorful, say something interesting. Um, and that, that'll help you immensely because when we, the media want to interview you, I have a platform of like 500,000. Um, you have other uh, media outlets have bigger platforms, some have smaller, but that's, that's, those people are connecting to you when you're there. So you want them to connect to you and then come follow you. And saying "come follow me" doesn't always work. Being interesting is is more is more it is it, 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 it's it's more interesting. <laughs> uh, man, I say be patient, bro. Just be patient, man. Um, don't get caught chasing things for money. Um, work on yourself. Work on your and, and, and be patient. Um, yeah, don't get caught out there chasing the bag, losing focus, and all that. Be patient, man. If things is for you, it, 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 it'll come to you. Um, another one is uh, believe in yourself. Some of y'all think, I mean, it's, it's, it's a weird thing because I get it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes kids call me on Instagram and be like, oh, he answered the phone. And I'd be like, yeah, I answered the phone. Wasn't big. They'd be like, do you know who you, you, know who you is? Be like, oh, yeah, I, I, last time I checked, I know who I am. <laughs> uh, sometimes when you're in things, like you don't see it the way others see it. So you may think that your life is boring or you're not interesting or it sucks or something like that. Like, nah, nobody want to hear about me and a cheeseburger today. But man, these fans, short for fanatics, man, they want to hear about what you did today, what you brushed your teeth with, what kind of drawers you got on, where you went when you left the house, what kind of car you drive. You just turn on the air condition. They they want to know everything about you, bro. You just you might not you just don't believe it. So yeah, man, talk to the people, man. Don't be afraid just to talk to them. Show them your life. Uh, yeah, your life is interesting to people. Um, everybody doesn't get to play Division One college. Everybody doesn't get rated the number five player in the nation. And everybody right there get that experience. Um, but because it's your life, sometimes you think everybody does. Uh, la- last one um, I'm giving away is all money ain't good money, bro. All money ain't good money. I know a lot of times we come from poverty <laughs> and we think uh, money is the answer to everything. And I had to learn that it's not. It's not the answer to everything. It may be. It may be your route to the, to, to the grave. Because when money comes, women come. Drugs come, guns, and like you, you have to know what to do with it when you get it. And a lot of us don't 
um, and the ones that do, kudos for you. But when you get money, you have to know to do with it when you get it. And that's what I talk about all the time with investing in the market and Bitcoin and having your money grow. Um, all money ain't good money. So be careful where you take money from. Um, I know Miami have a company, Open Doors, that's helping Miami kids, um, I guess, get, get deals. Well, but the way De'Aaron King jumped out there, I don't think Open Doors did that. I think, <laughs> think De'Aaron King was on his grind. He had an idea. And he, he, he jumped out there running. So let me get to some of these uh, messages. Say King just got a 20 bag. You read it somewhere? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, King ain't fucking around. Yeah, King out there collecting bags. Heard the Aaron King charging two thousand dollars for appearance, six hundred to sign something. Man, get your money, man. I I don't care. I just hope you know what to do with it when you get it. Or that that's all. Get it. Darren Keenan was on it late last night, bro. I mean, 12 o'clock hit, them boys was ready. <laughs> them boys was ready. I think they actually, if, if, I, if I'm reading this correctly, Mackenzie Milton and Darren King have not only signed as co-founders of NIL platform named Dreamfield, Milton will be the first active collegiate athlete with an NFT dropping next week. King will have his own later in a month. NFT, um, non fungible tokens. NFT is like, it's, it's like a picture, a video, a little stuff, something on the blockchain. And basically, it's like creating baseball cards and stuff, anything of that nature on the actual blockchain. And that's going to be a world in itself. Um, and the blockchain is where Bitcoin and all the cryptocurrency sits on that technology. We're not getting into all that. But yeah, NFTs have been selling for a lot. So McKenzie Milton got first, and they got a company called Dreamco. Uh, look like McKenzie Milton and Darren King have not only signed on as co-founders of new NLL platform named Dreamfield. Dreamfield Milton will be the first active collegiate athlete. They first. That might set them. That might set them for life. And this is a uh, yeah, I can see this right. I guess this is McKenzie Milton. This is McKenzie's Milton um, NFT, I guess. I got an NFT out there. I'm going to get some more put out there. I got an NFT out there, man. Um, but the, people are just assuming that you get on them now because they'll be a lot worth a lot. Got like Lamar Jackson last football game, uh, which is a which is rare. Lamar Jackson last football game he played against Tyler Huntley. Tyler Huntley is his backup at the Ravens. <laughs> Very weird. And Tyler Huntley beat him in high school, his last football game at Hollandale. Um, yeah, that's McKenzie Milton. That, that looks cool. Y'all want to see the Florida State one? Bam! There it is. I know y'all wanted to see the Florida State one. I know y'all wanted to see the Florida State one. Don't even try to lie. Bam! There it is. <laughs> yeah, so then the Aaron King, I think, got another deal for like 20, 20 bands. Aaron King ain't fucking around. Uh, Mike Harley looked like he was. Uh, Pushing water. Boys ain't messing around, man. But look, though, it hit, it hit a lot harder than I thought it would, man. It hit like a like a ton of bricks. <laughs> Them boys jumped out there running. I put my NFT. I put my NFT in the description if y'all want to check it out, man. Um, 
we'll have some more. We have some more on the platform. But yeah, y'all y'all sick of looking at that yet? Y'all not y'all no nope, y'all not sick of looking at that yet? Nope. One second. That's it. That's I just put it in the comment section. Put it in the description over here. So yeah, this is a rare high school game. I have a couple of those, a rare high school game that we shot. Um, and that's really weird. Uh, the boys are on the same team now. Um, NFT, what's so special about NFTs? Let me see if I can put this in words. Um, let's see if Google has put it in words for us. Um, A few things are special about them, doggy. NFT is a digital asset that represents real world objects like art, music, and game time items and videos. They are bought and sold online frequently, like frequently with cryptocurrency, and they are generally encoded with the same underlying software as cryptos, right? A staggering 174 million has been spent on NFTs since November 2007. NFTs, look at it like this, okay? One way you could look at it as like, like the card, baseball cards, football cards. Remember, they were worth a lot of money. They're worth a lot of money again now. But when you trade them, like if I trade them, I sell it to you. You trade it, you sell it to him. Um, there's no track record of it. With the NFT, now you can track them. You can see who bought. You can see who sold them with the technology, with the, um, with the technology of the NFT. Now, for artists... Like if an artist paints something today, right? Say if I paint something today and it was I, right, and I die, and the price of it goes up. I think dying is a bad. Okay, so if I die and the price of it goes up, or just say, let's say if I paint something today and I sold sell it for five hundred, then all of a sudden somebody famous buys it. Now the price of it then went up to fifty thousand. That artist who sold it, who painted it. Doesn't get paid for that fifty thousand. His five hundred is all he got. With an NFT, you buy the art as an NFT. That artist can set it up to where this is my McKenzie Milton card. If I sell it to you, every time the originator will get ten percent. Every time, whatever he said, every time the originator get five percent. Every time it's sold. So now artists can get paid for their their works residual. Now, I want you to go in the bathroom take a sh and think about that. When we start talking about music, podcasts, um, just music and albums and, 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 and people making music and, 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 and radio <laughs> and, the, and the industry saying that, yeah, 18 songs is worth this. And you get two pennies off the app. They make all these crazy, all these crazy rules and <laughs> And these crazy rules up, and we just follow them. So think about that. So now it's like a bigger car with a little extra stuff. No, I think it's more so like you can track the card. Um, you can track the card. It's art. Now, now what's going to play into this is in the future when we're like in digital worlds. Oh, man, I didn't want to get into all of this. I didn't want to start all of this. But yeah, we're going to kind of live in a virtual world. We're going to be able to put on glasses, uh, uh, contact lenses, and the world will pop up. And like in this room, in your room, you sit in the room, and the room can turn into a store in the virtual world. And you could buy stuff like NFTs and whatever's there. You know what I'm saying? But the virtual world, ah, ugh. okay. No, no, no. We ain't, we ain't doing all that, Boston. <laughs> we ain't doing that. Yeah, the King NFT should be coming out later this month. Yeah. 
Um, I'm not sure how McKenzie Milton got first. Maybe it was his dad started the company. Who knows? But the kid ain't played football in forever. But, I mean, whatever. He probably was first. I don't know. So, yeah, and then they started a company, uh, a company called Dream Co. Actually, to book kids get to get signings, um, book kids, book kids for signings. So this could be like money for the, Darren King doesn't make it to the NFL. They just created a company, man, that 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 can make them money to get kids signings and bookings. Um, like to sign paraphernalia. Uh, it's a lot of money in that. Like a souvenir store, have you come sign a hundred jerseys and give you thirty thousand dollars? It's a lot of money into that. You talking the Matrix? <laughs> yeah, man. We don't want to get into the Matrix today. Nah, not today. We're not. Yeah. Right, 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 right. We're going to get into the Matrix today. I mean, Matrix was a, 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 a awesome movie, though, bro. I, I like I like the message that they were trying to that they were trying to imply. If you got it, some I think mean, a, a lot of people didn't get, get it, but I like what they were trying to I like what they were trying to imply in the Matrix. So yeah, I put my NFT inside of the inside of the description. Yeah, I'll go check it out. Um, but yeah, man, today's a different day, dog. Like um kind of good for media i think for media outlet especially one like mine that has like a big following uh we can get involved um reached out to amar riches mar riches reached out to him man let's see if we can get him on the show i think he was the one signed the aaron king or, or or somehow he was involved with the aaron king and hunk sports um hooking up uh hunk athletes something like that um so, so hey, we can help these athletes promote whatever they're trying to promote. I mean, we got a platform. People see us. Um, I mean, yeah. So it's it's, it's a it's a it's a glorious day in that ring, and, and, and that's from that standpoint. I mean, you just gotta be careful. You just gotta be careful with what you was given and what's being given and what's actually happening. You know what I'm saying? Um, you gotta be careful. But we here to support, man. All the University of Miami kids or who. Who else, whoever else wants to get on a platform to pump something? We're here for you, doggy. 20,000 bag for a kid in college ain't bag. D New Kirk, they're trying to be shady with the cover, but it will backfire on them. I think it helps you um. Yeah, I think it did help you um. Um Travis Ward. That was his name, Ross. Travis. Travis Ward. Yeah, man, I was raping him. 45. I know all y'all done seen that video before. Come on now. I know all y'all done seen that video before. I was raping him. Larry Bluestein said you ain't all that. Larry said that? <laughs> that video funny, though. Travis Ward. It's on my TikTok somewhere. I got it here somewhere. I was raping him. So yeah, man, I mean, with college sports, I mean, college sports, sports period. Sports period have changed. Um, 
sports period have changed today. Today changed sports period. You know what I'm saying? I, no way around that. He started that thing off. Ain't no red shirt me. <laughs> this is your boy Kamari Wilson right here. Now that we're looking at it, might as well check it out. Kamari Wilson, no Wilson versus IMG. Yeah, yeah. I said, I feel like this. Ooh. It's a hundred yeah. niggas in the spot. I'm a hot dog. It's a hundred niggas in the spot. I'm a hot dog. I'm a hot dog. I'm a hot dog. I'm a hot dog. He died last year. I'm the best in the nation. Ain't no red shirt me. <laughs> That's your boy Romello. Romello putting on some weight. Sun around. What's going on? Trayvon Boxer said going to a small school in big city would be more appealing now with the NLI. You know, because well, I was thinking that, right? You know what? <laughs> that was my thought process. I read I read an article that was saying that with the notion that the players in Lincoln, Nebraska are bigger. There's no Jimmy Butler in, in Lincoln, Nebraska. Put it that way. I, I, I'm going to switch it like that. There's no, there's no Jimmy Butler in Lincoln, Nebraska. There's no tour in Lincoln, Nebraska. The football players are probably the guys. So around the city, yes, I think players will benefit from it. But what we're seeing is that you don't have to be in the city. <laughs> I mean, the world is digital. Um, the world is digital. And through this open doors thing that the University of Miami is using to get that gets players, uh, I guess it's like a two-way street. The players sign up. And open and 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 the companies come and they get players to endorse and I guess open doors platform brings them together. Um yeah, like so the opportunities are I won't I won't say they're equal, but I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, <sighs> Miami have a lot of opportunities, you know what I'm saying? Like I've lived in a little city before. And, and, and yeah, so I may have to change my take on that because they're going to get paid different ways. Like I talk about signing things, playing video games, Sean Shivers, uh, Auburn kid, uh, you know, Sean Shivers from Auburn, the kid that ran over the, and ran over the Alabama linebacker in the end zone and knocked his helmet off. He's from Shamanah, Madonna. He got a sponsorship to play a video game. Play a video game. You cannot play the video game with him. Um, different levels of it. You know. You know what I'm saying. So now there's so many levels of it that I see, and it may benefit. It may benefit the school that's that's actively like you. Know, that's actively 
involved in pushing this thing. So are they gonna stop putting the name on the back of the jersey for fans? I don't think so. I think if they do that, then they have then the school have to pay the players. You gotta we gotta understand what what they just did, bro. Um, and this is how you gotta be careful. I'm gonna get a little deep for y'all. Um, they didn't give the players leverage. That's not what they just did. The NCAA has a bag, image and likeness. They have a bag that they make money from. The TV stations, um, the games, um, the jersey selling, the apparel selling, uh, that's their bag, right? When they saw the kids snooping in their bag, Northwestern, they, we finna unionize, we're going to come together and we're going to make a union and give our own self-leverage. When they saw that, they was like, oh, okay, we ain't going to starve you no more. Y'all can go get your own bag. Just stop Stop talking about hours. <laughs> that was, that's not what they did. You know what I'm saying? So go go fend for yourself. We're going to let you off the leash. You ain't got to starve no more. Just don't. Don't be talking. <laughs> like try, Stop trying to get in the hours. And that's what they did. And in the middle of that, what you create is individuality and, and more separation. And what you have is that fighting amongst each other and you never pay attention to the NCAA again into 20 years. Kind of what they did. It's kind of what they did. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of funny that, that we're saying, hey, man, they gave the kids right to make money off they, they own face. Because <laughs> you were signing your image and likeness over to them to utilize. So, so to play college sports, you had to sign, your parents had to sign it over to them so they could use it. Now they're like, all right, y'all can have it back. Some of it. Go play. That makes sense? <laughs> I, hope, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. A player like Al Blaze is going to, why do you think Al Blaze is going to benefit? Cause he's good on social media. Al Blaze, the quarterbacks of most teams probably benefit. Um, uh, anybody who's great on social media, there's a kid, man. With uh, last I checked, he had like eighty thousand followers. Lamar, I think it's Lamar Patterson on uh, Instagram. Great kid, dog. Um, one of the few kids that ever called me the next day and told me thank you for covering him. Uh, out of Orlando, went up to play for St. Francis. Let me see. Let me see if I can find him. I don't know how many followers he got now, but he's really, really good on social media. And Lamar Patterson is his name. Big moves. Still got 82,000. <laughs> His first first thing I look at, I'm excited to announce my official partnership with the best college football page and designer in the industry, college football edits. Everyone go help him reach 80. That boy talking about partnerships. <laughs> that boy on something else. That boy talking about partnerships. Lamar Patterson.
Oh, I thought I pulled them up for y'all. Guess not. Let me see. So yeah, so yeah, do you think, do you think the NLL would create a hostile locker room? Um, will it create a hostile locker room? I think, um, let me think. Um, I think there's things that go on a football team already that puts people in tears. So I, I don't I think I don't think adding money might add a little a little lighter fluid on the situation. But yeah, I think I think I think there's things that, that happen. I think there's things that happen in the locker room already that um yeah that 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 creates tears and kids have to deal with. That's what I think. So yeah, that, that's my answer to that. Can they sell their own merch with logos and stuff? I think they can create their own clothes, bro. They can create their own clothes. I read they can have camps. Um, yeah, I think they can create their own clothing line, have camps. But to do those things, man, you gotta have people around you. You gotta have a little bit of money to start. Somebody gotta back you. I mean. Um, they're not going to be able to do everything. Plus they're students. Listen, bro, they're students, they're athletes. They're not going to have a lot of time to do a lot of things, but, but, but the money will find them, um, like through the little system that they have, the ones, the ones who rate it. You see, you see, you know, there's only a few names getting named. <laughs> Don't think there's going to be the whole locker room. There's only going to be a few players on each team, bro. I, I believe so. A uh, bigger name Alabama team may have more players um, just because the fact that he may be this or that in the future um, may come into play. That's foul, Kyle. Cal, text me, man, after this, man. We got to get up and talk. Cal, that, that's foul, Cal. <laughs> that's foul. Yeah, King got merch already. Do it. De'Aaron King got merch already. Where is it? Let me go see if De'Aaron King got merch already. Where you find it? Dan King tweeted, I would go, the main thing is still the main thing. Website dropping soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> that boy all over it. That boy all over it.
Damn, okay. Somebody said, damn, okay. De'Aaron King and Mackenzie Milton decided instead of just selling their brand, they're going to create a platform to sell every brand in college sports. Two smart guys. That was that was really smart. It was. That was really smart. So yeah, he said he got a website dropping soon. College Hunks, Darren King and College Hunks Inc. First NCAA student athlete endorsement deal in history at 1201. Darren King was on it though. <laughs> Uh, college hunks hauling junk. What I don't know. Like, what I don't even know what it, what is it. Let's see what college hunks is. Stress free moving and junk removal. College hunks hauling junk. As seen on TV in Shark Tank. College hunks. So it looks like maybe a company that a company that comes to your city and come come to your take junk out your house, or or they'll move you a moving company plus they'll take junk out your house. I'm sure some of y'all know what it is. Mike, yeah, Mike Harley got like a water brand. Cote's put out the Polo Timmy commercial. <laughs> It is funny though. I saw it the other night. Oh, Coach Hayes up there. Coach Hayes need to join football for your investment in Corp so they, their money will grow while they're on the field. <laughs> right. Like that's what I'm saying. See, we talk about that today, man. We came here come out tonight, man. We talked about that today. Right. I mean, it's like, yeah, you can give me money. Give me money. Money's like water. You don't know where to put it. Go right through your hands. So, so you can give me money. You know what I'm saying? Like you can give me money. You can give me 20,000, 40,000, 50,000. Watch what happened to it. If you don't have a plan, watch. Cause first thing is you don't think about one pay bills. If you broke, uh, okay. Now you're paying bills. Then you're going to get your girlfriend something. You're going to take a trip. I deserve this. And then, and then that's that's how it works, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. Good look, Hayes. Hayes, you put out the video today, bro. <laughs> you put out the commercial today. Michael McGawkin got one. Sean Cybers, Bo, Bo Nix, and Sean, I think, I forgot Bo Nix. I think he's behind some sweet tea. Um, another, another thing, another thing these kids are going to have to pay is taxes. You're your own employee. I think it's like 15%. They, they're going to have to pay taxes, and I, I don't know who's helping them with it. I guess Open Doors. I'm just assuming Open Doors does all this stuff. Um, I, uh, I, I guess um, I'm assuming Open Doors does all this stuff. and But somebody's going to have to watch. These kids going to have to pay taxes on this money. Um, they're going to have to. Nikosi, Nikosi Perry got one. Let me find out Kosi got one.
first round management. It looked like Coach Perry didn't really get one. It looked like he got somebody to manage him. Um, let me see. Yeah, it look like it's a, a management company. Yeah, it looks like a management company. Um, I don't know, man. It's a new day in sports, big dog. Them boys going to jail like Wesley Snipes. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you want to come on the show, man? You tripping, man. <laughs> you know they start throwing money when you come on the show. Yeah, them boys. <laughs> yeah, them boys going to jail like Wesley Snipes. Yeah, man. I, I mean, dog, listen, man. It, it's great that they got their freedom back. It is. Um, and like I said, we're here to support whatever they got going on. We got a platform to do it. My little sister just texted me, hey, Dad, I just told a little boy you my brother, and he made me feel like I know a celebrity. And I texted her back, you do, goddammit. <laughs> I'm a celebrity. <laughs> These kids be tripping. Yeah, Hayes. They ought to pay that stuff. Mike Harley got college football edits, too. Mike Harley on the grind, huh? I wonder if the University of Miami is going to give us more access to these kids uh now that they have things to promote or they're just gonna let them use their social media and be like nah 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 sit down just go ahead use your little instagram and your twitter now nah. i know one thing these kids finna be posting like crazy because i the ones who will sleep on it but they they, they finna get on a grizzine watch Cam Harris got one from CBS. Let's see. Oh man, man, this is getting <laughs> this is getting crazy. Wait a minute, man. What is this, man? Hold on, let's check this out. It's getting crazy, hey. It's getting crazy, dog. What's going on? What is this Cam Harris got? Or go home. Just on free. And here's my love. You're not ready. Something's coming. This summer, go big or go home. So whatever CBS Miami is, I guess they got Cam endorsing it. Man, I love, I love this for these kids, man. <laughs> and that's awesome. Oh man, let me see. CBS Miami, your home for news, sports, weather. So <laughs> that's what's up, bro. Are you ready for the beach? This summer, go big or go home. Here comes the Islanders. I'm here to find love. That's what's up, bro. That's nice. Oh, listen, man. Listen. Now that we're talking about investing, if y'all want to get involved and get started, it's Thursday. I know y'all got paid. And we can start a stock market area at 786 459 
like I said, man, you can make money, bro. But if, I mean, you don't really know where to put it at. <sighs> a lot of times, I mean, it feels good to have it, and then we spend it. <laughs> Captain Crab. Somebody gonna get a dose of Captain Crab. <laughs> Captain Crab's been around. No, the Krispy Kreme IPO. What happened with Krispy Kreme? Oh, no, no, no. Krispy Kreme went up today. Let's look. Let's try some Krispy Kreme. Oh, 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 wow, okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's check out. See what your boy did today. Could be playing one a little crazy today, huh? Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Okay, real for y'all. I want a lesson. Here we go, real fast. Show y'all how to look at this thing. Krispy Kreme donuts today. We full screen. All right, we full screen, I guess. Let's see. We're looking at the daily eye chart. It's a five minute chart, it says five. It's an hour chart, it's one day chart. Let me take y'all back to the line chart. So we're looking at one day, this one month. One day. So Krispy Kreme today. Let's see what it did today. One, two, let's get out of here. 2000. Is this shit really chewed up like that? That's kind of crazy. Let me see.
and check out another one. Yeah, it did shoot up. Like, it's it kind of one day went from like $17 to $21 in one day. $17 to like $21 in one day. Yeah. I was looking at that because that's such a sharp steep. Okay, so real fast. Let me give y'all a lesson. That's such a sharp steep, but you see the volume is right here. So right here, there's no green line. That's what somebody put a bunch of money in there. Usually a big company. Usually a person doesn't have that much, much, much money. 10 million, 15 million. Somebody put 20 million in the Krispy Kreme and shot the price up from $17 to $21. It's probably a company. Um, so it's a big company. So if some, so the sentiment is if somebody putting 20 million in it, I'm not going to drop 500 on it. That's how that's how people look at it. Like, yeah, somebody with 20 million, they believe in it. I'm not going to drop 500 and then the price keeps going up and up and up. Just got to be careful with chasing things because um those hedge fund companies man they play they play dirty dog they play dirty they play dirty open that 16 right in the 21 um so yeah quick lesson bro quick 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 lesson let me see let me make this full screen quick lesson man for the ones who are not in cci investor that who don't get these lessons all the time like I said, yeah, this is the price. If you follow that line, look to the right. See that line, that number? That's the price. So it, at, it was down about 16 today. Started at like 16 a day. And then shot up to like 21. Um, yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, that's that's a that's a big deal. How much percentage is that? The percentage on here? Um, I don't see the percentages shot up on here yet. So yeah, that's that's a big deal. Um, that is a big deal. Krispy Kreme. What is Krispy Kreme? Like Krispy Kreme, like all this healthy eating going on. Krispy Kreme still a thing? I guess so, bro. I guess it's like crack. No, <laughs> I guess so. But listen, man. Over twenty three percent. D got you. Hair fund companies a bunch of criminals. According to what side you on? If you're on a side, they <laughs> they're not criminals. They're making you money. Well, go Luke, tell him to bring the bag. We finna get all the recruits. <laughs> I think Luke fed up with bringing bags before, and y'all still talking about he irrelevant. We're going to get Luke, man. We're going to get Luke on. Yeah, Luke probably fed up. You're gonna start a new slogan like what? We them boys to pay the boys. <laughs> <laughs> we them boys to pay the boy. I don't know, man. I've been thinking with the platform, man. How does the platform fit into what's going on? Um, I know we're here to support them. I know that for sure, for sure. I know we're here to support them. Hi, Hayes. Hayes wanna call me on the phone. What's up, bro? Gotcha. Um, yeah, we, um, yeah, we just trying to figure out where we fit, where we fit in the process. I know we could support, I know we could support whatever they support. Um, uh, but if, I mean, they may just be asking, I mean, it may be specific. If somebody like open doors is controlling it, it may be specific. It may be like, Hey, we're looking for one university Miami running back 
to post on Instagram. Because I don't know if they're going to give us more access to the kids. Um, I would think they would if they got businesses they're running and stuff now, man. But we'll, we'll see, man. We'll see. So since y'all don't have any, like, NIL going on, man, y'all need to do what's right with y'all money. <laughs> And get involved with the market and Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and what's going on. Um, because nobody giving y'all bags, just paychecks. It's one company, a bunch of criminals. I remember when Luke was coaching the Liberty City. They robbed him while he was on the field. He still continued coaching for years. Boy, that's a hell of a story, boy. King and Ryan Ragoon got a YouTube channel. The boys ain't playing, huh? <laughs> they got a YouTube channel. Boy, King... <laughs> King Spirit done spearheaded this thing. Look what we got in the house, man. Look at this boy hey, in the house. Looking like Albie. What's up? Why? What's up? Why? <laughs> looking like, looking like, <laughs> you know, looking like Albie Shook. Albie Shook. Hey, sure. boy. I can tell you how I think about you night and day. Let me flip this thing around, man. I'm looking all crazy, boy. Hey, your boy. Your boy on the move right now. I'm out here checking my own in a NIL shoe. <laughs> hey, you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you checking on your own name I'm up in Orlando. Life? Huh? You checking on your own name in your likeness? Hey, I dropped that poor little Timmy video today. I got to get it, boy. I heard. I heard. It, 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 it was funny. Hey, dog. We got to have that, man. We Hey, y'all boys go out there and cop one of them shirts, man. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to tell you, look here. It's on YouTube, Facebook, bammed it, and it's on Twitter. Facebook didn't take it down, though, did they? Nah, they muted that thing. Oh, they muted it? Yeah, sometimes they say yeah. they muted it, and it still be there, bro. Just, just look at it. All right, well, I'm going to put it back. I'm going to hit the button right now. Ain't nothing going to stop this hustle. What you just, is this like, like a regular post? Yeah, I just uploaded like a regular video. It's not a YouTube link. It's a regular video. Okay, now nah, let's get up, bro. I'll show you how to do that tonight. Listen, man, college uh, football, the sports done changed, period, today, bro. No, that's why I jumped on the July. Remember, you asked me about the video? I said, I'm dropping it July 1st. These jits ain't going to be the only one making some money out here. <laughs> let's get that thing, man. Bro, listen, this it hit, it hit harder than I thought it would. Man, them boys was already in the back door working on stuff before it even hit. Yeah, it hit hard and I them thought it would. Hey, them boys say, hey, Derek King dropped that thing. That boy say $5.99 to sign a helmet, dog. $149 to sign a football. I ain't mad at him, boy. I ain't mad at him at all. Because think about it. You go in one of these memorabilia stores, they're going to sell that same ball for $149, and that dude ain't getting nothing, dog. I think I, I think um and I was thinking about De'Aaron King like dang is he going to go to the NFL like what would be the value of this ball but you know what I think the value is he's the first he one he done first one that's right he, he, he jumped out there and stamped himself as I'm gonna be first first I'm gonna be first to do all of it you know what I'm saying? bro I'm gonna tell you a scam dog that's been going on. So, you know, when you see them little kids be outside the stadium and the players been signing their footballs and stuff, they move my finger, my bad. You know how yeah. the kids be outside the stadium? You know, they had a little kid, hey, hey, can you sign my ball? Man, they, these grown adults be putting them jits up to that to sign the football, That's and they go sell them footballs to the memorabilia companies, dog. They've been doing that for years, bro. That. Yeah, like they'll come in there like the little kid. He had a jersey on, right? Hey, Derek, can you sign my jersey? Of course, he see a little shorty. He gonna sign the jersey. Daddy gonna snatch it off for him and go take it to the memorabilia company and sell it for $150, $200. I 
I heard. He got I heard. A, and listen, yeah. he got a whole trunk full of them little jerseys. And tomorrow he'd be back out there again. Hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, Cam, can you sign my jersey? Daddy done snatched it off of him, dog, <laughs> making one of the kids, dog. I heard De'Aaron King uh, was signing balls at Paradise Camp the other night. Like, I ain't like, all right, now. July 1st coming. They said he was telling people. Damn right. He ain't wrong. No, he ain't wrong, wrong, bro. He ain't wrong. And I, but I'm going to still say this. Can I be honest? This still is is an easy. This still an easy way to let the schools off the hook for the money they make, though. Oh yeah, I just because these because these jits still got to hustle their own names through. You know what I'm saying? In the university, no. You, you think a dude gonna stop coming to the game? No, they still coming to the game, and they gonna wait. They still making way more money, way more money, dog. Off a of jersey. Yeah. Just imagine, just imagine the jersey sales. Only like the Tim Tebow whole situation with Tebow, bro. The number one jersey being sold ever. Right. And T now, you know, Tebow played the old missionary, the mission role where, you know, well, it's not about that. It's about the university. Yeah, because Tebow, you had something to eat in the refrigerator. <laughs> right, right, right. He ain't come from the being real. Right. If you ain't had nothing to eat, dog, bro. He ain't come from poverty. Right. Um, exactly, exactly. So his outlook is, you know, people say that all the time. Ten dollars ain't nothing to a nigga who got a hundred. Right, right. I mean, yeah. Basically, it was the NCAA. No, listen, saying, "Hey, man, y'all gonna unionize? No, 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 no. Stop paying attention to our bag. No, don't pay, huh? Y'all go get your own money, huh? We are gonna let y'all off the leash. Right. Now y'all can go eat." And you, you give a starving dog anything. You know what I'm saying? So now y'all can go eat. And, he, and they let them go eat. And they, like, stop paying attention to our bed. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I, so, I wonder if it, is it going to open it up for high school kids? Because now you can't tell Jacory Brooks he can't have a, a T-shirt company online coming into high school, coming into college. Because what you going to say? You got to wait to get here to do it? Here we go. He get the money start coming in. As soon as you start coming, the money start coming. But yeah, I know mean, what I'm talking about, baby. One time <laughs> segment in the house. As soon as you start coming, the money start coming. So yeah, I think hey, I think matter it fact, opens it up for my kids too. Hold up, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Matter of fact, Footballville is my NIL. I need my <laughs> money. <laughs> hey, I'm fun. Hey, I get on there and bring you money. I need my money. Boy, this is everybody out here trying to get money, man. Oh man. Well, listen, Street, I'm gonna take my own advice. The the ten, the twenty you say you owe me, I'm gonna invest it back in you. Put that money in the investment, and I want to see my job grow until the first hurricane game. Pastor Hayes, what call you, Pastor Hayes? Huh? You call you, Pastor Hayes? Nah, Boston, they not getting no revenue. No, they not getting anything from the jersey sales. College football saying, nah, don't touch it. Don't, don't leave my bag alone. Go ahead and exactly. buy your own. And you still making it off these jits' name? Like that's what I'm saying. Like I think even though this is great for the kids, it's it's still um. I still think it's kibbles and bits compared to steak, dog. Like, it's a way to just pacify the people. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a way to pacify them so they'll shut up about getting paid. But if you look at the ratio of dollars being made through the universities on these guys versus what these guys are going to make, it's peanuts, dog. No, I mean, th it's, that's what they always do. it, Man, you starve somebody long enough, I mean, you can give them anything. Hey, boy, dude, take a mustard seed and think he got filet mignon, boy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, I mean, that's what it is. Oh, that, that's what it is. It's, now, um, they can benefit from it, but yeah, it's it's, it's like, oh man, I don't want to do the slavery analogy. It's like, it's like you got a dog in the backyard, right? And he, mm -hmm. and you feed him once a week. He alive. You feed yeah. him once a week. He start feeding him three times a week. It's like, boy, we can eat three times a week. But <laughs> they just, bro, bro, listen, they just gave them back their own face. Oh man, y'all got y'all face. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, 
Now, one of the most interesting things. But, no, but you know the worst part. They gave them their face back, but they didn't give them hundred percent of their face back because no. they still making money off their face and off their talent. Yeah, yeah. So, and yeah. I understand that. That's business, right? So there's nothing wrong with that, right? It's just like uh, you know, say WWF or whatever, right? Of course, they're gonna make money off their wrestlers, but their wrestlers make money through the pro like it's like any other corporation, right? No. Of course, the company has to make money. The people make the money. But dog, no, you're getting nothing. We're saying that's that's equivalent to saying, hey, Vince McMahon, Hulk Hogan come rest for wrestle for you for nothing. But he could take he can't take Hulk Hogan, the character, but he could take Terry, whatever his name is, and go out there and find your own business. No, you know what's worse? Um, um I see I see they're allowing them to take pictures and stuff with the uniform and promote companies. Um I saw Darren King on a what? The Aaron King photo, it was a game photo of him with, with the with the company, um uh, Hunt Company. So I see that, you know what I'm saying? They had that on their Twitter. Um, but but you know, this though, look how gangster this is. Look how gangster this is. They're saying, hey man, listen, y'all go out there and tell these companies y'all got value and get y'all money from them, right? But what about them? <laughs> But what about the NCAA? You know what I'm saying? Like, why they can't turn around and be like, hey, wait a minute? <laughs> like, like where? That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, you know. Bro, that, bro, that's exact Bro, that's exactly what I was saying about the, the WWF. Right. You know what I mean? Look, Hulk Hogan, go out there and make all the money you can as the real person. You can't use Hulk Hogan. You can't use the Hulkamaniacs. That's our money. Right. And go out there and do what you do, oh, man. That's, no, it's still like again, we 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 fight for things, but I still think we fight for the wrong things, bro. But again, they know this. They know that companies like the NCAA or whatever, they got us by the cojones because these boys still trying to fight for a way in. Like you said, I don't use the word way out. I said they're fighting for a way into a new situation. Yeah. And hey, let me get that twenty cent. Dog, let me get that twenty cent off that. But anyway. Um, I'm just saying, like, unfortunately, that's what it is. It's almost like the NFL, right? When you want players to stand up, well, guess what? The dude that the the the, the dog on Mister Irrelevant can't stand up because he could get cut at any time, right? He can get he can get asked about it up. Exactly, but if you ask Aaron Rodgers or you ask Drew Brees or you ask Tom Brady to stand up, they ain't gonna cut them dudes. They'll conform to what they want. But you ask my man. That's the third string center. Guess what, dog? You better shut your mouth. Right. Kane Walk said, "Can can can?" I guess he's saying, "Can the walk? Can a walk on get an NIL deal?" I, I mean, if he on the team, yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna be honest with you. They've just made them regular students. Because here's the deal, right? Let's say destroying, for example. Let's just say if Destroying was a regular student before, you know, before he was the kicker and he had a YouTube channel. I guarantee you go on any college campus, somebody, a social media star on that campus, somebody. Right. And if they got enough following, it's a local business. It may be the local, you know, like the local bar where the college kids hang out or whatever. I guarantee they done reached out to them before this whole NIL thing happened. So they just made them regular students in essence. You saying being regular students? When it comes to that, what I'm saying is, I was just saying because he said about a walk on, and what I was trying to say was, whether you're a walk on or not or a regular student, you basically still can get an NIL deal because say if a regular student had his own social media platform where he was right, killing right, right. it, right? And right. and somebody, you, you know, the platform. little local bar around him. Yeah, he got a platform, so that's all it is. Um, somebody said, what I'm saying is that if they're selling the jersey for 100 they at least can get the kids 4 or $5 off jersey sales. Listen, dog, if they, oh, open, up, if they open up that can of worms, right? See, the, the problem is opening up the can of worms. <laughs> if you admit that, hey, we owe you some money for this, you don't open up a whole can of worms. And what they just did was kept the players off them for the next 10 years. That's what right. they did. 
they they, exactly they, say, right. they go out there and get these companies image and likeness. You can make your money with these companies. Go on, make your money with these companies. What is the NCAA like? But they're not. But don't turn around and ask us about your jersey. Like, <laughs> right. That's our bread. You know what I'm saying? Don't you can't make money off us. But we allow you. To no, you're 100 right. Right. You're 100 right, though. You're 100 right. Yeah. I mean, so that's so that like, how gangster is that though? How gangster is that to, you know, to stand in a room to stand in a room and say that with a straight face, dog? <laughs> with a straight face, boo. No, that's no. Listen, that's so gangster, man. I, I, I once had somebody tell me, man. Um, uh, they were saying that uh, I was saying, man, listen, man, what the government be doing? They be moving some gangster moves, though. They be doing some gangster stuff. They like gangsters in suits. And my homeboy looked at me and said, "Dude, they always wore suits." Always. And I thought, <laughs> and I thought about it, <laughs> like the mobsters. They all, all of them was in suits. They always wore suits. Bro, that's in every profession, right? Everybody want to be a rapper. But guess what? That ain't the money maker. That's just the famous. Right. You just famous over there. You ain't making dog. That's you ain't the one making money. I always bring this up, right? What about the Asian dude from the from uh the Neptune? You don't never hear about that cat. He ain't in front of nothing, dog. You don't never hear about Slim from uh Cash Money. Them dude behind the scene, they making all the money. They don't care about no rapping. Right. People don't care about Jimmy right. Iovine and, and Leo Cohen and Clive Davis. No. Right, right, behind the scenes. Yeah, they the money. Right. I'm going to tell you like this. Remember that owner that got in trouble at uh, 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 the Clippers? Oh yeah, you remember that? Talking about, talking about magic. Yeah, before uh -huh. that happened, before that even before that even happened, I guarantee ninety nine percent of this chat right here couldn't even tell you who that dude was. Of course not. We don't know who one of the owners is, but Mark Cuban. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'm just saying that go to show you. So LeBron out here making a. Remember when when, when Shaq got the hundred million dollar deal? So if somebody could pay Shaq a hundred million, what you think he making? Chris Rock said that. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> hey, doll, I'm gonna, oh, I gotta cut you off one second. Uh huh. All right. I gotta cut you off one. I'm gonna cut you off one second. Hold on. All right, let me know when you back. Chris Rock said, "Here you go, Shaq. Go get you some spinning rims." <laughs> nah, bro. Listen, not. I mean, it, it's hard to. Okay, so listen, it's it's a glorious day. Players are allowed to go out there and get get bread. Um, but I mean, as you got to look at things as a whole and what's really going on, um, and be cognizant of it. That's it. Money ain't the answer to everything. It really isn't. Um, it's not the answer to everything. Sometimes it can become the problem if you don't know what to do with it. How long we been on here, man? I was doing, man. We're going on wholesome time now, man. I went 20 minutes, man. Good Lord. Cotage with the Polar Timmy internet connection. <laughs> Heck no. James Wolf would say Miami is a national brand. The players have built in exposure as a hurricane. My question, can the players set up LLC like advertising business and do all types of ads and promo endorsements? Um, I'm thinking they can, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's what they're doing now. But they're endorsing as individuals, I guess. They're not endorsing as a, as a company. Um, I would have to think about that. I mean, but I'm sure they could. They can start businesses. They can start a business and and, and do some things. But like, I don't think they have to go through 
the open doors connection. I think they can go through. I don't think they have to go through it, but I mean, we're still learning how, how this is going to work. Um, definitely still learning. And it's going to be a lot of tweaks and, and, and government is going to get involved, man. It's not over. Believe me. But listen, bro, that's it for the day, man. We're going to get up out of here. We've been here about an hour and a half. Too long. <laughs> We're going to get up out of here, man. Y'all want to get involved with the market, man. Right there, scrolling at the bottom, 786-405-9499. Uh, let us help y'all place your money in places. Um, D, Coach Hayes will come back sometime. He'll text me or something. And we out.